Hi, this is Dottie with Premium Websites, and I'm here today to go over a WordPress plugin called Contact Form 7 and really simple, simple CAPTCHA that goes with it. Uh, now, this is a really cool plugin for creating forms without knowing HTML. I am, am currently using it on my Contact Form creates these fields right here. In fact, these are standard out-of-the-box fields and then I've added in this section right here. I'm also using it for my get a quote page and again just basic standard form with a CAPTCHA added on. You can have as many of these forms on your site as you need. So now let's go into our back office and we'll check out this form. Now again this is a plug-in and it's called Contact Form 7. And it has to have the second plugin called Really Simple CAPTCHA installed as well. These two go together. <clears throat> Without this Really Simple CAPTCHA, you cannot put the CAPTCHA form onto the um, forms on your website. And in order to get these, you simply go into the Add New find these two plugins and go ahead and install them on your site. Okay, once they are installed in the side over here will be the contact form. It'll show up here. It'll show up collapsed and then you want to find, um, extend it down and just go ahead and click edit. And this is what will pop up. This is your standard out-of-the-box form all of this stuff right here <clears throat> comes already set for you as well as the submit button and this middle area is the CAPTCHA and that is what I will show you how to add to each form. Now the standard form picks up the email address from your general settings. If you wish to change it here you can. As I said there are several different forms that you can put on your website and if you want them all going to different email addresses on each form you just enter in the address that you are wanting. You can also alter this area right here. This is what you get sent when a message is sent so that you will know what, that it's coming from a form on your website and there's the address. Now again you can put any message to yourself in here that you want. Now to generate another tag you simply go to this area hit the drop down arrow and you can see you can add text fields, an email field, a text area, if you're creating a form that needs a drop down menu, check boxes or radio boxes you get them here and each one of these you just simply fill out the form. Is it a required field? Yes or no? Here's your name and then you just copy this and stick it over here wherever you want it. So we're going to generate a CAPTCHA field. Now if you don't have the really simple CAPTCHA installed you'll get a big red message here that tells you that you need to go install it. And I usually set the size to medium which if we look at my contact form this part right here is what that's referring to and that is the size of the letters or numbers that show up. Medium seems to be a good size. And then all you do is you simply copy this and you go over here and you paste it. And I've put them in P tags, which is a paragraph, which what that does is it simply automatically puts it on a new line. So on my form you will see that each one of these is on a new line. So here's the directions. Enter the number or letter in the box below. Here's the CAPTCHA field that's on a new line. And then here's the second one that you copy which is this one right here for input field. Copy that and set it. I'm going to grab the whole thing. Copy it and set it in right here again in its own line. So I put a paragraph tag and then the submit tag. Now you'll see that my letters say 679, these say 77. Okay, now every time you do a field or a, a um, form, you're going to get a different letter here. And it's simply 
associating this capture with this form. So I'm not going to go ahead and change it because my form is already set. So every time you do a form, then you simply take this code and you go to whatever page you want that form to show up on. So I've copied that code and that is on my contact page. And you will see visually that it is right here. So here's all of the information I've put above it. And then here is where I want my form to appear. So that's where I paste the code that I got from the other page. Go ahead and click Update. And then this is what I get, my page and my form. Now if we go back to our forms, you will see that I have a form right here that is on my Get a Quote page. Okay, and it's basically the same form, slightly different, and it's associated with the same email address. Again, you can change that if you want to have it go to a different email address. And then if I want to replicate this form, I just copy this code, go to the page that I want it to show up on, which would be my Get a Quote page, and paste it in. Okay, so I get this form here on my Get a Quote page. So that's how you create forms within WordPress. You no longer need to use or to know an HTML to create your form. You just simply use Contact Form 7, fill out the fields, and cut and paste. So it's become a very simple thing if you're using the right plugin. This has been Dottie with Premium Websites. I hope you enjoyed my WordPress tip on how to create forms.